Hey guys, welcome. This is my take on a pink glam look. So if you're interested and like it, please keep watching. All right, guys, to start off, we're going to get all that hair out of our face and pin it up. Next, we're going to go in with our Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. And you're going to get about a dime size and just put that all throughout the face. Make sure every spot is covered. And then next, we're going to go in with some Vaseline to prep our lips for our matte lips, liquid lipstick that we'll be putting on later. And then we're going to go in with the Dip Brow Pomade in Ash Brown. And I'm not going to go into depth of, of how I do my eyebrows, but there's just a quick here's just a quick clip on how I kind of do them so yeah and voila both brows are done all right so next we're gonna go in with our Maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 20 and then I'm gonna put that on my eyelids just to act as a primer and to conceal because my eyelids are kind of dark and veiny and then we're gonna go in with a setting powder and that is my studio palette I believe if not everything will be in the bottom bar below and then I'm gonna go in with my morphe palette and then I'm gonna go with this peanut butter shade and I'm gonna use it to blend in my crease it's gonna be my transition shade <laughs> But I, but I kind of messed up and I was like, pause, because I did want a very straight edge. So I decided to put tape on the ends of my eyes so I can have a nice straight edge. And then I go back in with my blending brush and I start to blend that little peanut butter shade. And then I go in with an e.l.f. flat shadow brush and I get my naked palette in the color black heart and I'm going to put that on my outer V. Notice it's very, it's kind of very messy, nothing, I'm just placing it there, nothing very, I guess nothing very like ooh at first. But then we're going to go back in with a, the same blending brush, no extra product and just really blend that black into our eyes. It's very important to blend it all in so there are no harsh lines or anything and here I'm still blending out that black but then I also do go into my naked palette and get, the, and get that brown color dark side and then I place it kind of in the middle so the black can blend in with the brown and then once I put in my actual shadow color nothing looks it doesn't just jump from black to my pink so then I go in with the color trick on my new brush which is a revolution bx80 it is a flat brush it is a flat brush and I am just placing that on my eye, halfway through my eyelid. And then I'm, again, I'm going in with my blending brush, no extra product. And I am just blending out that all the eyeshadows together so they seamlessly go And in. then back into my Naked 3 palette, I grab the lightest shade with my Naked 3 brush the flatter side and I start putting that as my brow bone highlight and then I grab my blending brush again with no extra product and make sure everything's just blended and there is no harsh lines and here I'm just showing you the finished product next we're gonna go in with my black radiance eyeliner holy grail eyeliner I've been using it for years and years and it is my favorite and right here I'm just creating a line where the tape is just so I know not to go past that point and I don't finish my eyeliner here and then I remove the tape and a little dancing and then after I remove the tape I start finishing my eyeliner and making it making it perfect if I may say and then here I'm just checking it out making sure everything is good looks good looks good looks good good i like it i like it and then i go in with my clinique high impact mascara to prep my eyelashes for some falsies
And here I'm just cleaning up some fallout from the eyeshadow that may have came into my face. And then I'm going in with my duo lash glue. It is the dark one. And then I go in with my cocoa lashes in the style goddess. They are so cute. They're so cute and I love them. So yeah, now I put one eyelash on and woohoo for both. And then I'm going to go in with my pore professional. And here I put it in my T-zone and on my cheek. Did I say my cheek? Yeah, on my cheeks and on my chin. And then I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible in the color 106. And then I'm going to use my Beauty Blender from Real Techniques to just dab that all over my face. And make sure to bring the foundation a little bit down the neck so everything can look nice and we can all look the same shade. And then I'm going to go in with my Naked Weightless Concealer in the color Light. And I'm going to put that under my eyes, on my nose, on my mustache area, under my chin, and on my forehead. And then I'm going to go in again with my Maybelline my Fit Me Maybelline Concealer in the shade 20 and just mix it in with that naked concealer and again with my Beauty Blender on the pointed side I'm gonna blend all that product out okay and now I'm gonna go in with my real techniques it is a contour brush but I don't use it as a contour brush but I'm gonna get my RCMA no color powder which is my favorite setting powder in the whole wide world it is honestly the best thing I've ever tried well at least for me and then I'm gonna put that under my eyes and then I'm also gonna put that in the areas where I did conceal just so I can have no creases no lines and etc etc so here i'm just blending everything out and yeah and here i'm going in with my studio contour palette and i'm going in with my real techniques what is it called sculpting brush and i am using the kind of grayish one and the bronzy one shade i pointed to them but i'm using that to contour my cheeks as shown and next i'm gonna go in with a different beauty blender and then i am gonna get some rcma powder and i'm gonna bake under my cheeks where i contoured i'm just gonna bake and leave that leave it there for a while and then I'm gonna go in with my mascara by Rimmel it is the lash accelerator mascara and I'm gonna use that to coat my bottom lashes it is my favorite bottom lash mascara by the way for me it just works wonders and then I'm gonna blend out that bake that I had and yeah, I like it because it really doesn't leave a white cast or whatever. It just makes everything look good. And then I'm going to go in with my eyelash curler by Revlon. And I'm going to curl, I mean, yeah, I'm going to curl my eyelashes with the falsies. And I like doing this because it kind of just secures my lashes to my actual eyelashes. And then I'm going back in with my liquid eye, with my liquid eyeliner and just going over my eyeliner and just making sure that my lashes aren't that noticeable and then i'm going in with my revolution bx90 brush and contouring my nose with the darkest shade and then i'm grabbing my beauty blender with no extra concealer and i'm just blending and out that here contour. i'm going in with that brown that i used to blend my black my black eyeshadow and i'm going in with dark side and i'm putting it under my eyes to kind of smoke it out a bit and then i'm gonna go in with my lash accelerator mascara and just coat my bottom lashes and then i'm gonna go in with my blush by milani in the shade luminoso and i'm just gonna put that dust that a little bit on my cheeks and then i'm gonna go in with my nyx liquid illuminator 
it is in the shade gleam and i'm just gonna put that on my cheeks with my finger because i feel that it applies best with the finger next i'm gonna go in with my in into my carly bible palette and i'm gonna use that highlight to kind of in intensify my highlight on my face and I love how it turns out I love mixing these two together the outcome is just so beautiful and then I'm gonna grab a elf small stipple brush and just blend everything on my cheeks together so there are no harsh lines things just mesh together and next on to my lips i'm gonna use the kat von d liquid lipstick in lovesick and then i'm gonna use a revlon lip liner in the color mauve to outline my lips before applying my liquid lipstick And lastly, I'm going to go in with my NYX setting spray in, it is the dewy finish one. And I'm just going to spray that all over my face. And then I'm going to dance one more time because I'm finally done. I hope you guys enjoyed this pink glam video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any requests for any other videos you would like to see, please leave a comment down below. And I hope to see you soon in any of my next videos. Thank you for watching.